News by CNN that Boston officials had a possible suspect in custody related to the bombings at the Boston Marathon finish line created a stir with not just the media world, but also with local residents of Boston who just want to know the truth. Um, I've heard that that may not actually be accurate, but if it is the case, I mean, it certainly would be a relief and hopefully we'll get some, some answers to, to what or why this happened. Media members from around the world showed up to the fourth floor of the Weston Hotel only to be dismissed a little before 5 p.m. It's not happening at 5 o'clock. Sorry. And they've tell me it's been postponed. With much uncertainty into who the suspect is, it's hard for most people to believe anything at all. I've obviously been trying to avoid it a little bit just because it feels a little um, inundated at this time and we all know what happened and we're all really upset about it so um, just waiting for some final answers I think right now. And as all journalists are taught, thorough fact checking is a prerequisite before airing on the news. I guess my advice would be fact checking before they start telling the public uh, any kind of information. Uh, you know some people uh, they're not used to this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm retired army and I've been deployed a few times, so I'm used to the up and downness, but uh, fact check, that's all I gotta say. With Boston officials reviewing footage of a possible suspect, people in Boston and around the world will wait to hear confirmation of an official arrest. For BUTV 10, I'm Patrick Thomas.